Well, hey everybody. Yes, I know, I know. It is the heart of dry skin season. And if you have very dry, sensitive skin and what you've been trying to do isn't working, man, do I have some great tips for you today and five amazing products that are really gonna work for you. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about, oh, itchy, dry, scaly, sensitive, irritated skin. And it's wintertime in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you're a person who lives where it's very cold and very dry, yeah, I know. It's really, really a tough go. I know this because... Yeah, I used to live up north and I remember what that is like. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm Chris. I'm a skincare expert and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do more harm than good. So if that sounds like something that's your thing, be sure and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up each week. You know, I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to get this video done today because Emma, my little Jack Russell, and those of you who are subscribed to the channel know about her had yet another vet visit today. But it was good, everything went well, so here we are, and we're gonna talk about how to alleviate this dry skin. And the first thing I wanna talk about are what kind of ingredients you really need to avoid. So, sort of a blanket statement for dry skin care, we want to avoid any product that has denatured alcohol or synthetic fragrance. So right off the bat, if you're using a product and it's not working for you, check the label for those ingredients because that may be part of the problem. Now I wanna point out, there's a big difference between denatured alcohol and things like cetyl alcohol. So sometimes when I recommend products, you guys see alcohol on the label, cetyl alcohol, and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, it says alcohol, and you're always saying not to put alcohol on our skin. Well, cetyl alcohol is actually a fatty alcohol. It's more like a lipid. So it's not going to dry out and harm your skin the way denatured alcohol would, which is very, very drying and very irritating. Now, as I said, I used to live up north for 15 years. I shoveled snow. And I got to tell you that winter time was miserable for me. And I have oily skin, which just kind of blew my mind. In fact, it took two trips to the dermatologist to teach this aesthetician something he didn't know. And that was how to care for dry skin in very dry air. And he gave me some really great tips and I'm gonna pass those on to you really quickly here. And then we're gonna get into the products that I recommend that you use, the top five for dry skin, both for your face and for your body. Now, the first dermatologist tip that I'm gonna pass on to you has to do with showering and bathing habits. And it has to do with hot water. Yeah, I don't know about you, but the hotter the water, the longer I can be in the shower, the better. I just, it relaxes me. It is one of the ways I decompress. But when you live in a dry climate or a cold climate or you have severely dry skin, hot water is your enemy. You want to use cool to warm. Warm is okay. Cool is better. I know, not as comfortable. Water when you bathe because we don't want to strip all of the oil out of the skin. Those natural oils that your skin produces really do put a barrier that protects your skin from extra dryness and transdermal water loss or transdermal moisture loss. Now the next tip is a big one and it's one that I still follow today even though I live in Florida and that is to make sure that you apply moisturizers and humectants within five minutes of bathing or your shower. The reason for that is we want to trap as much of that extra moisture that your skin has picked up from the warm water and trap it down in the skin structure so that it stays there and helps hydrate your skin and sort of gives it a boost. If you wait too long, within five to 10 minutes, all of that extra moisture that your skin's been able to absorb has now evaporated. The next thing that's super important with dry skin is exfoliation, but you gotta be careful because we don't wanna irritate the skin. A light daily exfoliation with a cloth with something like a buff, B-U-F, P-U-F, because people always think I say butt buff. I'm thinking about buff, puff in the shower or some other exfoliation type cloth will actually help lift off tiny microscopic dry skin cells that contribute to the dryness and irritation of your skin. They also penetrate the products that you're going to use from actually being able to get down into the skin and helping. So we want to make sure we take that layer off very lightly every day. The next big one, which may not be such a big secret to a lot of you, is to make sure that your environment has humidity and is 
heated air conditioned environments, even in the South in the wintertime where humidities are lower, dries out your skin. So especially at night, adding a humidifier to your bedroom or something along those lines where you have some moisture in the actual air can help your skin in its sleep repair cycle not be more dried out. Think about it when you wake up in the morning, if you're dried out, your lungs are dried out, your throat's, <coughs> throat's dried out from sleeping overnight in dry air, then yes, you need to add humidity to your air. And the other big tip from the dermatologist and from me, because you guys know I preach this, is to make sure that you're applying sunscreen year round to all exposed body parts, especially in the winter time. Drier, thinner air allows more UVA, UVB light to penetrate the skin. And if it's dried out and crispy already, you're looking for a sunburn and it's not gonna help you out. Okay, so now let's talk about products that actually can help your skin and moisturize it without causing more irritation, remembering that we wanna stay away from things like denatured alcohol and synthetic fragrance, which can be very irritating to skin anyway, and especially if it is dry and sensitive. The first product that I wanna talk about is kind of exciting because it's new, but it's from a familiar brand that I talk about all the time, on this channel. So there's actually two products that I'm recommending here, one for the face and one for the body, my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. You guys know that I go on and on about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel cream for extra dry skin because it is such a great hyaluronic acid formulation without any extras, really goes on and helps your skin out. I use that stuff religiously. And in the past I was applying it to my body, but then they've come out with Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Gel Lotion for your body. So there are two products I'm recommending right off the bat. As you guys may recall, hyaluronic acid is a molecular ingredient that can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in moisture. It's something that our skin produces already, understands what to do with it, and it goes right to work quenching that thirsty skin layer. So being able to have hyaluronic acid in a body formulation where it's not gonna cost you a fortune like it would when you're using a face cream is just amazing to me. So those two products right off the bat. All right, next when we're talking about severely dry skin, which is what happened to me that sent me to the dermatologist, you need to think about ceramides because what we need to do is not only humidify or put a humectant on our skin to help repair it, we need to recreate the lipid barrier that actually holds moisture in and protects our skin from the environment. And that means ceramides. Cetaphil, which is another skincare line that we talk about quite a bit on this channel, has a new 48-hour hydration complex set of products that I would really like to recommend you check out. Cetaphil's products are already designed for sensitive skin, so when you have this extra dry skin or severely dried skin, this is a product that's going to be able to go on without any sort of irritation. You need a lot of ceramides, and these two particular products from that grouping will really help. And that first is their moisture cream. They have formulated that cream with their patented hydro sensitive complex, which just means that they have a product that can both hydrate your skin with a humectant and also at the same time provide that protection barrier or layer. For the face, they have another cream that is deep hydration, healthy glow cream for the face, of course, I just said that. And that product is designed to be used on the facial skin, whereas the moisture cream is for the other areas of the body. These two products from Cetaphil, I really recommend if you have ongoing problems with dry skin and you're living in that dry, cold climate, just make sure that you apply them by the label instructions at least twice a day to make sure your skin is getting the protection that it needs. So let's say your dry skin has gotten to the point where it is cracked, inflamed, and very, very sensitive, red, maybe even a few times you see some blood around. That is a really very severe dry skin condition that calls for a really thick, heavy, protective ceramide layer. Now, when I lived in Pennsylvania, I got very severe dry skin the first couple of winters because I had no clue how to take care of that. I grew up in Texas, so we didn't have severe winters in Texas, so I'd never had that problem. The dermatologist recommended CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, which is a very thick, heavy ceramide cream that's gonna go over and help put a barrier between your skin and the elements. This product is so great because it doesn't break down. Now, it's, it's thick. It's gonna go on very thick and heavy, 
but it's almost like a moisture scab. That's the way to think of it so that your skin can start to heal from the inside out. The way to apply this and have it work the best for you is to apply a humectant like hyaluronic acid, like the Hydro Boost for your body would be perfect. And then you would layer that with the CeraVe moisturizing cream. When you use those two products together, you're really creating the moisture barrier that you need and you're also allowing the skin to heal itself, renew itself and bring fresh new skin cells forward. So it's a double step that can really pay dividends when you have that kind of dry skin. Now, I hope this video today helped you guys understand what you can do for dry skin, what products are available and how to apply them. And also those tips that came from the dermatologist. If you follow those, they really do work very well. And I will put all the products I talked about today, the links for those and the steps or those tips will be down below in the video description box for you. If the video was helpful, please give it a like share it out, comment below, let me know. And also be sure to check out the videos that are coming up next from my channel because they will help you find a way to perfect your own skincare routine and get your best looking skin ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support of the channel. I love you, stay beautiful, and I'll see you over on the next video.